Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome again to Zoom Room 2. Uh, if you haven't been here yet, I'm Assistant Commissioner Kristen Quinn, and I will be your moderator in Zoom Room 2 for the remainder of the day. Uh, we will be welcoming right now, well, we have welcomed, uh, Senior Guard Charlie Moore and Sophomore Forward Romeo Weems. Charlie is the Big East's second leading returning scorer after 15.5 points per game last year. Charlie is also on our preseason All Big East first team. Uh, Romeo was on the All Big East freshman team in 2019-20 and started every game for the Blue Demons last season. So just some quick reminders before we open it up. Uh, if you have a question, just please use the raise the hand feature in the chat. If you're dialing in, use the chat function to let me know if you have a question that will not show up on the participant panel. To make it easier for the players, please make sure to identify yourself and your outlet before asking your question. Uh, and then again, the chat functions there. If you need me, we are going to be going to 1 p.m. Eastern. All right, Charlie, Romeo, we are going to start it off with John Fanta from the Big East Digital Network. Hi, guys. Thanks for taking the time today. Um, Charlie, just starting with you, I, I know it's just a preseason honor, but you know what Big East basketball is like, you know, having yeah. seen it last season. So uh, to see your name on the on the all Big East first team on the preseason, just, you know, what's that mean to you that the coaches in this league put you in that category? Uh, you know, it's an honor. And just knowing um, that all my hard work is, you know, it's paying off. But like you said, you know, Big East is a tough conference. You know, I still got to go in and actually play the games and put the work in. So uh, it, it's a blessing to be, you know, named first team. But I know it's still more work to do. Um, for you guys, you know, your head coach, Dave Lato, said earlier today that one of the things that he looked at in the offseason was you had to do so many different things last year. The goal was maybe to try to find some, some other guys in the backcourt that could help assist with that process. Tell us, you know, what this DePaul backcourt has added and what you're seeing from the guys around you in the backcourt. Oh, uh, we added more depth, you know, uh, more guys at the bring up the ball up the court, more guys that have um, high IQ, you know, um, more guys that can score the ball as well. So I just feel like we have all around, you know, um, great backcourt this year, you know, that's ready to compete and uh, give it the ball 110% effort. Thanks. Thanks, Charlie. Kristen, you're muted. Sorry about that. Dan Stack, I'm throwing to you. We are DePaul.com. Uh, I guess I'll go to Charlie. Um, last year was a roller coaster of uh, emotions. Uh, you started off great in the non conference and the, you had struggles in the Big East. What were the key lessons that you took from last season? What are you doing to correct them from what went wrong late last year? Um, just going through the whole Big East uh, process, you know, it, it's not an easy league, you know. Uh, know you're going to play against somebody good every night, you know, um, just knowing that, you know, we have to bring our A game every night and um, be focused offensively and defensively in order for us to come out with wins, you know. So just me being more focused, me being more ready to go, and uh, just me being ready to give 110% effort every night uh, and do what's best for the team. Can I ask more, more questions? Sure, you can do one follow-up and then I'm gonna to go to Steve Newhouse. Okay. So Troy, what was um been your main focus this, this season last uh ended abruptly last year? You won the last game in the garden when you beat Xavier. Did you feel you re you revived some momentum late last year? And what has been your focus in the offseason? Uh just coming together as a team. You know, it's a good season. Uh last season is over, you know, it happened. You know, uh, we ended the season on a on a great win. But, you know, we have a bunch of new guys this year. Uh, you know, we got some returning guys coming back as well. So we just have to put it all together. But, you know, the Big East is a tough conference. So in order for us, you know, to, to be good in this conference, you know, we have to take every game seriously and uh, prepare to win every night. All right. Thank you. All right, Steve Newhouse. Hi, Charlie. How you doing today? Um, Recently, there was an NCAA rule change that uh, give you an extra year of eligibility. 
Um, have you given any thought to whether you would come back for a fifth year next year for the Blue Demons? Um, not really. You know, um, just got to get through this season first. You know, um, one season at a time. You know, uh, one day at a time. I'm um, just going to continue to work work hard and do what's best for um, the team this year. So um, we look forward to seeing what happens. And whatever happens, happens. Okay, I'm going to go to Austin Petalillo for Trenton to Philly Hoops. Uh, hey guys, um, this question's for both of you, but uh, we could start with Romeo. How do you guys carry the momentum that you had from last season heading into this one? Um, knowing that we started off so well and then it went downhill, so we just want to continue to play well throughout the whole season and get get those those pushes and fights, like Charlie said. You just got to be ready to play every game and be ready to compete every day. Thank you. All right, we're going to go back to John Fanta from the Big East Digital Network. Uh, Romeo, how do you think you're a better player right now uh, from this time last year when you were just starting your college career? Yeah, uh, definitely feel feel more comfortable when I'm playing basketball. Um, I got a better feel for the game offensively. Defensively, I feel like I'm still competitive and can work hard. So I feel like offensively, I feel I'm gonna have a way better year this year. Um, this is for both you guys. You know, there's, there's obviously, it's it's an interesting time with everything happening, but it's an interest, interesting time at DePaul because um, you have, there's a new athletic director. I'm, I'm curious for either of you, you know, if you've talked with the new AD, Dwayne Peavy, he comes from Kentucky, obviously Kentucky basketball, we know what they've done you know, what it's been like if you have had a chance to meet him and what he's been like? Um, We talk to him. We see him around. We see him around all the time. You know, um, he's a great guy. You know, he talked to the team and just told us his plans he had for us. You know, um, he wished us the best. And, you know, uh, he's just a great overall guy. I feel like he he's looking forward to doing what's best for the overall program, you know, in, in order to take us to the next level. And um, we can't do anything but appreciate that. Same. Definitely a good guy. Uh, I had a couple meetings with him, talked to him, so got to know him a little bit. Definitely a good guy, and he wanted us to succeed. All right. We are going to go to Lawrence, Lawrence Kramer from the DePaulia. Hey, Romeo. Could you talk about maybe uh, the improvements you're trying to make to your offensive game? I think towards the end of the last season, you kind of took a step forward in that department. Can you talk about uh, improving that area heading into the season? Yeah, it's just being more comfortable on the floor and playing with confidence and, you know, being there to take my guy off the off the dribble, shoot my jump shots, shoot my pull-ups. It's just all confidence, really. And trusting my teammates, they're going to give me a ball. We're going to share the ball. Everybody's going to have a nice rhythm. So it's just, that's all what it was for me was lack of confidence, I feel like. Okay, we are going to go to Dan Stack from wearedepaul.com. Dan, you're muted. Okay, uh, this was question is for uh, Romeo. Um, your role should grow this year, especially with Paul Reed gone. Do you feel confident about taking on a bigger role? Definitely. Uh, I'm really. I feel like I prepared for this season, and I'm just. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the challenge ahead. Like last year, I was guarding the best players every game or a lot of times, so that was a big challenge. So now I'm just ready to get my second push and hope for a better season. I'm ready for it, yeah, definitely. Uh, just to follow up, some say you were he hesitant on the offense last year. Was that you getting your feet wet on college or just wanting to be a good teammate and defer to older players? Are you ready to be more assertive this year? Yeah, I mean, maybe a mixture of both. That's just my game. I'm not a selfish player. I trust mm -hmm. my teammates and the open man that's going to make that play. So. But at the same time, I was still figuring it out and had to build my confidence up and trust my my work at the all the work I put in. I had to just trust it. So now I feel like that's going to happen this year. We just got to wait to see. All right. I'm going to go to Austin Pet Petalillo from Trenton to Philly Hoops. Um, Charlie, in terms of COVID protocols, uh, you know, what kind of procedures or, or steps have you guys as players have you guys taken to sort of 
you know, prevent an outbreak, you know, happening in the program? You know, uh, when we first got here, you know, um, we were split up into groups, you know, um, like two groups of like five or something like that. Um, weight room, one, one group would be in the weight room and the other would be on the court and stuff like that. But I feel like as time grew, you know, uh, we started to come together now and um, people know what's at risk and what's at stake, you know, uh, for the season or for the season to come. You know, we have to stay, you know, COVID free as, as much as possible. So uh, I feel like everybody's just taking it into their own hands and knowing like what's at stake. You know, um, the season is the most important thing right now. So uh, I feel like everybody's just being cautious of that and, and being aware of their surroundings. All right, thank you. All right, we are gonna go to John Fanta from the Big East Digital Network. Charlie, I want to get your thoughts on a couple of the, the new additions to this DePaul team, you know, just a couple of these transfers. So first, what does Javon Freeman Liberty add? Uh, he brings another um, scoring guard, you know, who can also handle the ball, uh, penetrate and kick, you know, just an overall great player. You know, he can shoot the ball as well. You know, he's going to be a great addition to this team. What about Ray Sauna? Ray Sauna is another, you know, a smart IQ player. You know, um, he's been in college for some, you know, a couple of years now, so he, he's got the experience. You know, he's going to bring experience to the backcourt as well and just be ready. He's competitive and be ready to win. Obviously, your success, you know, starts with you, Romeo. Um, but thus far in practice, is, and this is for either of you if you have it, is there somebody on this DePaul team that maybe we don't know as much about on paper that, that has stood out to you playing alongside them, somebody that could take a big leap for this DePaul team this year? I feel like, I feel like everybody's, you know, has been, been showing good, having good showings in practice. You know, um, everyone's uh, prepared and ready to, you know, take the next step and helping us win. You know, but, you know, we got some great players on the team. You know, uh, we got guys like Darius. Darius, he's, he's, he took another step. You know, he's ready to come out and, and be the best version of himself. And we also have a guy named Voss, you know, who can shoot the ball pretty well. Uh, Polly Polly Cap, who can uh, really, really has a great motor, uh, works very hard. You know, and um, we also have, you know, we just got a bunch of great players. And you know, he's just ready to come in and, and do his best for the team. Romeo, when you – taste what you guys were able to taste last year you know starting the season as well as you did you beat Texas Tech the students are, are on the floor how do you try to get that taste back this season and actually sustain it um we just keep going can't give up um I know we started off well and then went downhill but it's just minor mistakes that we could fix and just staying together. This year, I feel like we got a way bigger and stronger bond amongst each other. We played it, played better together. So I feel like that's all it really was, was just lack of brotherhood, to say the least. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we are going to go to Austin again from Trenton to Philly Hoops. Uh, Romeo, you mentioned that last year as a freshman, you were assigned to guard some of the, the best players in the league. I mean, do you feel like that trial by tri trial by fire or thrown into the, I don't know what the phrase is, but that, do you feel like going that, that toe to toe with some of the best scores in the league last year sort of accelerated your, your growth process as a player? Um, it was definitely, yeah, I feel like, yeah, definitely a lot of moments where I was learning. Uh, it was some key games I can remember. Some some guards made some big plays like uh, Powell, Miles Powell made a big play, step back pump fake, got me in there, stuff like that. Or like Charlie in practice, he'd come off a screen, he'd stop, and I run into him. So it's just all it was all just like learning experience. So now I feel like that was a big big advantage I got now, and just getting those getting those reps in chasing them around, just knowing how to get through the defense, everything. I feel like, yeah, big, big help. All right, we are going to go to Lawrence Kramer from the DePaulia. Hey, Romeo, have you given any thought about after this season, you know, possibly going to the NBA? I know, you know, some mock boards already have you in the first or second round. Have you given any thought yet about about that? Um, 
I just been thinking about getting through this season, really, and and God's hand put everything in God's hand. That's how I went. So however God feel like, whenever my time is, that's when it's gonna be my time. If it's after this season, then it is. If it's not, then it's just not. All right, we have the last question in the queue. Uh, Dan Stack, we are to Paul. Yeah, this question is for Charlie. Last year, you had the, the same uh, process that Cavassier and Javon are going through with the, the waiver. Have you talked to them and given them guidance on what they're what to expect? And do you, do you expect they're going to rule in favor of them joining the team this year? Yeah, that's the plan, you know, for those guys to join the team. But, you know, I've been just giving them words of encouragement, you know, um, let them know that, you know, it took some time for me to get it as well. But, you know, after I got it, you know, it was down here from there. You know, um, it was the greatest feeling ever, you know knowing that I can play right away. So, you know, I um, feel like they have some great news coming soon. So i uh, just been trying to give them some words of encouragement and confidence and for them to continue and stay working hard. All right, if there are no other questions, thank you to Charlie, thank you to Romeo. We are gonna conclude this segment with DePaul. At 1.30 back here in Zoom Room 2 are the Creighton players, Mitch Ballack and Marcus Zagorowski. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you, Romeo. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us.